guys and welcome to my channel so i wanted to come to you guys and do a review on the profusion um bear palette i actually had done a um review on this one the smoky palette um i believe it was last week sometime and i recently just uploaded the video so you guys can go check that out if you want to see this palette um i got this one at five below as well i also uploaded a five below um the store five below a haul from them and i promised you guys in that haul that i was going to do a review on this palette right here which is the bear palette um by profusion it's a 10 eyeshadow palette and i've seen reviews on youtube of the profusion sultry neutrals palette that people are comparing it to like as a cheaper version of the naked palette by urban decay um i don't know why exactly i cannot find the Profusion Sultry, Sultry Neutrals palette or the um, Midnight Fever palette. The two that I found so far in my state are the Smoky palette and the Bear palette, which is fine with me. I like these palettes. I have not checked Walgreens lately. I guess I'm going to have to go check there, um, but I don't know. So anyways, um, okay, The obviously <laughs> the packaging is adorable. As you see, it is like a leopard print, cheetah print type thing. Um, just like the Smokey is a zebra print, which I really like that a lot. Um, what female, woman, girl wouldn't like the packaging? It's adorable. Um, it's just like the Smokey palette, whereas when you... Or, let me show you right there. It says Bear. 10 eyeshadow palette. Let me see if you can see it better like that. Because it's silver and it has a glare. Okay, and on the back... It says Profusion. It's a pretty good size palette. It's about as big as the Naked palette. Um, it's pretty good size, like I said. And then when you open it up, it has a mirror. As you can see right there, a good size mirror. And this comes off. I just kept that on to show you guys what the inside of the palette looked like. And here is the inside of the palette. I've already swatched these. That's why the eyeshadows look like that. Um, it has a plastic piece that comes up right there to protect the shadows. So you have a good variety in here. A lot of um, nice neutral light colors and some darker colors. Um, they're not showing up real dark on the camera, but there are some darker colors. It's all neutrals, though. There's no real smoky colors in here. I mean, unless you wanted to do like a smoked out neutral look um it also comes with an eyeliner pencil which i really like the profusion eyeliners the other palette came with one as well and it comes with a sponge tip applicator so i swatch these and i will say that this palette is not as pigmented as the smoky palette in these palettes for some reason the darker colors tend to be more pigmented and in the smoky palette it is you know, obviously it's a lot of darker colors because it, as you see, it's a lot more darker colors. Um, and that's because it's for, you know, to do a smoky look. So, um, this palette isn't as pigmented, but I have noticed with these type of eyeshadows, if you buy them and when you're trying to swatch them, they seem a little bit powdery. The best thing that I say that I have always done for years now, before I was really even into high-end makeup and all I really used to use was, you know, cheaper drugstore makeup or cheaper brands when I was in my early teens. Um, you take a Q-tip or an object with a pointy end and you kind of just scratch the first layer of the eyeshadow off. For some reason it almost like activates it and it makes it, um, it makes it swatch better. It also, you know, blends better. It just works better in general. So I swatched these and I'm going to show you the swatches, but I just wanted to let you know that a lot of these colors are not, like I said, um, the darker colors, as you see, that's pretty pigmented. I mean, the darker ones are pigmented, but the lighter colors aren't that great. So I am going to show you. Um, there's the eyeliner. It's it's very black. It's just the Profusion eyeliners are pretty good. Um, the first color is right there. You can barely see it. It it's It's not that it's not pigmented. It's not really pigmented, I will be honest, but it's just a really light color. There's not a lot of color payoff with that. 
See, I still have that shadow stuck to my finger, even though I used a wipe, so uh, that one wasn't bad. Okay, and then the second color is more of like a goldish color, and that one is right there. That's a really pretty color. That one is way more pigmented than the first and the third. The third you can barely see, but it is a flesh tone color. So, um, as you see there, it's, you know, definitely flesh tone. Then the fourth color is like a coppery color, and that one was um, pigmented as well. The fifth color is right there. Um, it's... It's a shimmery, lighter color. It's not bad. Um, it's probably the most pigmented out of the lightest colors. Okay, and then the sixth color is right here. It's a really pretty pinkish, coppery, goldish color. I really like it, but it's light. It's pigmented. It's just a very light color, if you can see that. Okay, and then the sixth color is a taupey brown color. That one was pigmented as well. It's it's just a really taupe brown color. And then the seventh, or wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth color, my bad, is right there. It's a really pretty chocolatey brown bronzy color. It's very pretty. That one was pigmented as well. And the ninth color, which is right here, is similar to this color, but it's much darker. It's just a b dark brown it's a really pretty color. And then the last color is right here. One of my favorites. It's like a gold color. Um, that one was pigmented as well. So in these kind of palettes, so that's all the swatches. And please excuse my hands. Um, I have, my hands have been blistering from the weather here. I live in Michigan and it is definitely winter time for us and it's getting cold out. So my hands are becoming very dry and I hate that because I that's one thing that I cannot stand. I try to keep my hands as moisturized as, as possible. I always keep hand sanitizer and lotion right next to my nightstand on my vanity and my purse. It's crazy. But anyway, so yeah. Um, and actually just recently, well not recently, I won in a giveaway a Burt's Bees um, moisturizing hand kit. And I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to start using it for the winter time and see how that works. Um, but anyways, yeah, so those are the swatches. It's not a bad palette for $5 because you do get color payoff, and I'm sure you could do some really pretty looks with these neutral colors. Um, so, yep, that's the palette. I will say that out of the two, my favorite is definitely the Smoky palette. Um, you guys, if you watched my previous video, you've seen the um, swatches I did for that, and I just really, really like that palette a lot. But, I mean, for $10 for both these palettes... Um, it just, it wasn't bad, you know. Like I said, the packaging is cute. Um, the colors in the Smoky Palette are highly pigmented, and I really love them. Um, and, I mean, you can't go wrong for $5 a piece. You definitely can play in it and do some looks. And if you can't afford the more higher-end makeup, such as the Urban Decay Naked Palette, or even the NYX Butt Naked, or, um, you know, the NYX uh, Nude on Nude palette, stuff like that, then these are definitely, definitely palettes you can grab just to play around with and, you know, use them. I mean, $5 a piece, you can't go wrong, you know what I mean? So, um, this is nothing that I bought. I just primed my hand with this stuff there. Um, other The other things that I wanted to show to you guys that I had gotten from... Um, five below that I said I was going to review was the Funky Fingers Nail Polish. It's a really pretty deep purple and this color is in Riot and um, I swatched it for you guys on my nail sticks and I actually um, if you can see it's a really pretty purple color. It's a really bright I'm sure you can see that. The top part I actually did put a top coat on in the bottom, I didn't, because I wanted you guys to see the difference, because when you actually use it, it is a matte polish, so it is not glossy at all. But, um, as you can see, it stops, and then it turns matte. So you would, if you want it to be glossy, you would need a, um, gloss over it. This would be a really good color to use some kind of um, crackle nail polish over. I love using the crackles crackles over um, matte, matte colors. So yeah, that's the Riot and Funky Fingers. It's a deep, deep purple. It's coming up as blue on my camera. I don't know why, but it is not blue. It's a very deep purple, but that's okay. It's just, it's a really pretty color. 
Okay, and then the other things that I had for you guys that I wanted to, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to wipe these off. I wanted to swatch the, um, three, I got three more of the Funky Lips, um, let me see if I can just get, sorry guys, I know my camera, um, is shaking right now, it's because I'm trying to wipe the eyeshadow off so I can do, um, swatches of the lips for you guys. Mm, they're not coming off that easily. So, um, that means that they're not that bad. I'm just going to do the swatches right there. Okay, so, um, I know that I showed you guys the two lip glosses that I had gotten the first time I went to Five Below, which was purple, oh, what was that called? I just, I wore it the other day, and oh my goodness, I loved it. I actually have it right in here. It's in my little, I wore it to my niece's 11th birthday party, and I just wore a really neutral look, and, um, I wore the purple lip gloss, and it was just beautiful. The one thing, whoopsie, the one thing I did realize after wearing it all day, okay, I dropped that, sorry guys. Okay after wearing it all day was that you have to reapply it quite often. It does not have long staying power, but the colors are absolutely pretty. Now I'm wondering if you wore it over a lip gloss, it would probably be better. I mean, over a lipstick, it would probably be better, but um, I had to reapply every half hour to 40 minutes with this. Not great staying power, but I mean, I, it was a pretty color, so I didn't mind. So this one is called Purple Boom. The other one I got is called Starships, which is right here, and I showed these in a previous video really, you know, two opaque bright colors, and then these are the three that I just got at Five Below last week, and I believe it was last Wednesday, yep, so pretty much a week ago. Um, I got number LT20 Friday's Pink, the next one is LT21 Tangelo, it's a really pretty orange color, orange coralish color. And this one is LT19 Cosmic Pink. So I think these are the five colors that they make. They didn't have any other colors. And they all kind of go in order with the numbers. So that's the whole collection, I believe. So I'm going to swatch oops, these three for you. This one is the Friday's Pink. These are very pigmented, you guys very opaque as you can see um they come out rather thick they're pretty sticky not not like annoying sticky though uh, to be honest with you I don't think they're sticky enough and the reason I say that is because I when I wore the purple one like I like I said the staying power was not that great but that this one smells like like bubble gum or candy okay so this one is Friday's pink, right there. It's a really pretty pink, as you can, I use too much, I always use too much when I swatch these, because they're very opaque. There's Friday's pink, very pretty color. Okay, and then the next color I'm going to swatch for you is Tangelo, which is like a um, orange color. I don't know why I always use too much, it just, it comes out too fast or something. But when I put it on, I didn't do that. It's weird. I'm just kind of blending it out to show you guys. Okay, and this is Tangelo. Very opaque. Look at that orange. And this smells like oranges. Definitely. There's Tangelo. And then the last color I have is Cosmic Pink. Sorry, Lee. Just kind of put these tops on real quick. Just because I don't want them to get mixed up. Okay, and this is Cosmic Pink. Whoopsie. This is like a, whoa, hot pink. Like no other. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, and this one smells like candy as well. And there is Cosmic Pink. Look at that. It is just like, whoa, pink. 
So those are the three new colors I got. And in case you guys didn't see the other video, I will swatch the other ones real quick for you. Um, these will last a long time because they are rather pigmented. So um, you don't need a lot unless you're using it all day and you are um, constantly reapplying like I had to do with this one. I'm probably going to have to go back and get another purple one because it's my favorite. And I used it a lot on Sunday. <laughs> I mean, I was literally reapplying probably every half hour. Well, we were taking pictures and all that stuff. You know, it was my niece's birthday party, so. So that's purple. Boom. There's the purple. I mean, it's like, they are so opaque. Like, whoa. Look at that. And these, again, I got at Five Below for $2 a piece. And this one was Starships. So there's three different pinks, um, a purple and an orange in the collection. Okay, and that's Starships. So there is like a very light pink, which is Pink's Friday, which I thought that was really funny. Or Friday's Pink, is that what it was called? Yeah. Because of Nicki Minaj's Fink, Fink, wow, Pink Friday, the MAC lipstick they came out with. And this one was Starships, which she also has a video called that, I believe. Then you got Purple Boom, Tangelo, and Cosmic Pink. So those are the lip glosses. Very pretty. And I believe that these are made by the same makers of Funky Fingers because they have kind of the same writing. I'm pretty sure it's the same maker. Um, so yeah, so $2 a piece. These were also $2 um, or 3 for 5 Um So I got these three when I bought that and the Bear Palette. So I just wanted to come to you guys real quick and show you that... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon. Bye. Whoops, I turned my light off. <laughs> okay, bye guys.